Hello everyone, um, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some talk about Tregalia. And this one's gonna be a rough conversation to have, because they just dropped this news. I assume like a lot of people, everyone was waiting for, um, news for the anniversary. And instead we got some really troubling news, and I'm gonna talk about it here. So, uh, if you end up liking this video, you can leave a like and... But that doesn't matter. Actually tell me how you feel about this news. Likes help me, but actually talking this through might help a little bit more than just um, feeling really weirdly sad yet. Because it's really distressing. So let's start with it. So we just got this news update on 826. For me, it was literally 32 minutes ago regarding the future content releases. So, hello, Yuji Okada here, director of Dragalia Lost. As always, thank you for your continued passion for and support of Dragalia Lost. I'd like to take this opportunity to inform you of some of the upcoming changes to the game's content release schedule. Starting this November, the game's development and management structure will undergo some changes accompanied by a reduction of the amount of content released each month going forward. In particular, the number of new adventures and dragons added to the game each month will change and starting in December, new onslaught defensive, uh, defensive and coliseum events will no longer be added, though existing ones will return at regular intervals. Please note that these details may change without prior notice. Please rest assured that we are hard at work developing content for the game's third anniversary in late September and beyond. We will continue to hold events and release main campaign chapters that we hope will delight and entertain players going forward. Thank you for playing Dragalia Lost. So, hearing that, what I just said, the first thing you hear is obvious. The game is slowing down. The game is shutting down. I think that's what a lot of people hear when you read this. And when you hear it as well, is that this is all pointing to signs to the game eventually ceasing operations. Now, I can tell you right now, if you are someone who only watches my videos for the Dragalia stuff and was not here when I did Ore Collection um, videos, Ore Collection had a very similar thing, except for they weren't nice about telling us we're slowing down. After the anniversary, which we are coming up on, or collection slowed down, way down. Um, there was no real, there was like a slight triple of like content and there were some limited units, but at some point it just stopped. And it became like, when are they gonna release the new next, their equivalent of Gala Banners? And it turned out we're not releasing any Gala Banners. We're actually completely restructuring the game and we're going to ineffectiveness kill or collection and jump into or collection 2 and then or collection 2 ended up dying because it sucked um it was terrible but you can see here why someone like me who went through that went through months of waiting and waiting and waiting and being like oh no this is the sign of the end times this is to be honest if there was ever a clue that something is ending it is this now i'll say this right now before, I think the greatest thing I ever heard about a game company shutting down was from someone who used to work at, I believe it was Midway? I don't think it was, it happened at Midway, but he used to work at Midway and then eventually he joined a company and the first thing the company told the devs is that we're actually going to, like our recent thing sucked, but here's what we're going to do, we're going to make so many games. They basically said to all their devs, we're going to be doing so much stuff. We're going to be doing this, we're going to be doing that, we're going to be doing that. And it was all bullshit. Because they were just trying to keep them distracted from the fact that the game was actually shutting down. And that their entire business was shutting down. So they wanted to pretend like, oh no, we're still functioning. Look at all the stuff where we're going to be releasing. So... That's one sign of something completely being a shutdown. I don't think that this is really a sign of a shutdown because who announces this right before an anniversary where people are potentially going to spend in your game? It's maybe the biggest mood killer ever. Um, if anything, them kind of going out in front of it and being like, hey, we are going to be slowing down, but don't worry. If they had announced this after anniversary, so many people would be angry. 
and it would be a completely different conversation than what we're having. But because they're doing it before anniversary, I think that actually changes things a little bit. That makes things a little bit better, I think. Because either it means like, no, we're not doing that. We don't plan on doing that. We don't plan on taking your money and running. Um, what we plan to do is just like, you know, get smaller and change some stuff about what we do. Because to be honest, some of the things Dragalia does is very weird and dumb for what Dragalia does when you look at it from the outside looking in. So for example, their Gala Banners, which are super limited units, they only live for like a week, for like at best four days or three days, and then they're gone. And I think a lot of people have complained, especially people who are new to Dragalia, um, banners don't last very long, and that sucks. So maybe that's why they're saying we're going to be releasing less adventurers because they're actually changing it so that you have more time to potentially get the unit you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's obviously backs and forths, and if you're going to be making banners longer, that obviously means that um, you're just going to have to release less new adventures and dragons in general. Now, of course, you could also say, like, but releasing new adventures and dragons, that, that's a money loss, right? Like, you're not making new stuff. You're going to be losing so much. And this is what I have to say to that. Um, most gotchas, most gotchas do not release units and dragons at the rate that Dragalia releases them. It is actually kind of insane how fast Dragalia releases their units. Like, if you could actually think about... Like a good example for Dokkan, they're maybe releasing on banner four units this month for a banner. Four? Four? And Dragalia itself. Let me see how many Dragalia has planned. Maybe this might not be a good month to check, but let me just do a quick check see to see. The, the previous month might be better for checking how many new units we got, but let's see. So we got two right there. We already had two with the, the Yukata units. But there were also the summer units. There were the summer print. There was Galileo. Not Galileo. There was Gala uh, Alberius. And then there was Leo. And then there was Shell. So you put that. That's already five when you combine them with the two Yukata units. Five. And then you include the Hinamoto. So that's six, seven. And then you include their dra I'm not even including their dragons, which is so much. As you can see, that's just too many units to release in the span of a month. It's way too much. Um, so if anything, this will help. And not, let's not forget about these two dudes who are coming eventually. Um, and rerun banners of some other people that have uh, showed up as well. So this might actually be a good change because that means you're just going to be summoning less. And that's good because that pity really sucks, especially when you have to build up from 3,000, which is actually what I've been doing in silence the entire time. I'm actually currently up at uh, 9,000 with some tickets. Um, so I don't see them releasing less at Dragon's, Advent Dragon's Adventures as bad. Uh, because really, like, we have too many as it stands. And I wouldn't mind them doing some kind of, like, reruns of some units that were kind of hard to get for other characters and doing something else. Reruns that don't necessarily need to even be a part of, like, Gala Banners. Like, I also hope that means that there's going to be... if they're, I don't know if they're still going to do two Gala Banners a month, but I really hope it means that Gala Banners will last longer than three days and they'll be going forward. If I were doing this, I would just say Gala Banners are the only thing we're doing now because that has the natural rates of everything. Of course, that would actually make it harder to pull certain units because it's actually easier to pull units on non-gala banner units banners but which is dumb but i digress um so yeah some other things to take note of here because i've got it there's still a pandemic still going on so obviously you know when dragalia started during the pandemic they always were very upfront saying we are still working through the pandemic and we're going to get the content you need and to be to be fair a lot of gotchas were slipping around the pandemic but dragalia really never did um, you could say, like, well, they did a lot of reruns, but even some other gotchas didn't even do a lot of reruns. There were a lot of dead weeks, so they did a lot for what they were doing, and then doing that much is just kind of insane. Um, but maybe it's finally catching up to them. I could see some people saying, but we make so much money off of Uma Masumi's side games, uh, not realizing that every single horse that's in the game has to, is a license, and they have to pay for the license for those horses, and those li horse licenses are not cheap. 
You have to pay for each of them. They're not all owned by one person <laughs> or one organization. It doesn't work that way. So it's not like they can use Uma Masuma money uh, to fund your Galia because that just doesn't work out. Um, there could also be some stuff with Nintendo. Obviously, Nintendo, now that it has the Switch. I actually think if they repurpose Dragalia to be a Switch game, it might do better on the Switch than it does on mobile because Nintendo just doesn't support mobile games anymore. Like, what's the last mobile? Once the Switch blew up, they're like, we don't need mobile anymore. Goodbye. And Dragalia has always been this weird thing where it's like, oh, yeah. And Dragalia, I bet, is extremely expensive with the songs they use and the voice actors and absolutely everything. It's just a lot to kind of take into accord. Um, so yeah, my final thoughts on this is definitely the inner or collection person who went through this entire process of a game slowing down, meaning its eventual release, is saying like, oh no, the game is shutting down. But I don't feel like that's what this is. I feel like this is them just saying we cannot no we can no longer sustain our current rate of events being released. It's just not feasible. It's not manageable, and it's finally getting to us. And we're just gonna stop doing that because we're also losing a lot of money because no one's actually summoning for these new adventurers because they just wait for gala banners or limited units or something like that. I could totally see them being like people just end up like shifting stuff and it sucks. The one thing that kind of su does suck is the event things, because I think reruns of events suck, but nothing I can do about that. Okay, so yeah, those are basically my thoughts on this matter. If anything pops up, who knows, maybe we'll get a very quick news edition where they're just like, bro, we didn't think you would take it that serious, we're not shutting down anytime soon, maybe. Um... Or we'll get more comments, because I guarantee you there will be plenty of people asking why you're doing this. And it's actually kind of... It's nice that they sent this... It's nice that they told us, hey, we're going to be slowing down. But then when you ask why, that's the part what's the problem. When you don't answer the why, people fill in the why. And the first thing that they fill the why with is... The game is shutting down. So... That's the end of the video, man. I need to get back to work. I literally stopped working to talk, do this video, so I'm off. You guys have a nice day, and I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever it might be. Peace out.